name's Doug, and this is Kingdom Hearts. Um, right now we are um, continuing our uh, quest to for the Ultima Keyblade. Uh, basically, we're just doing a bunch of grinding so we can grab a bunch of items and get the best weapon in the game. This is a side quest, so if you know you're only interested in the story parts, then you know just this episode is cool. Um, in the last episode, we gathered up all the crafting materials that we needed from Traverse Town. So now, this time we're going to head over to Wonderland, gather some stuff, and then, uh, maybe depending on the time it takes, uh, go to the jungle. Really, we only need to get one set of, uh, items from, uh, one like heartless in particular, it's one of those rare heartless, so I'm thinking this might be quick, but it really just depends on RNG and how lucky we get. So I'm just gonna pick up a few things here. Uh, I think the thing that's actually gonna take the longest in this uh, video is uh, I want to get that uh, white uh, Trinity mark that I uh, skipped the first time. It's a little bit of a side quest now, but it's not necessarily related to item grinding, but I still want to collect it so I can get Lady Luck. Raises max MP by 2 and significantly enhances magic and summon power. Also inflicts good physical damage. So it's a little better at magic than uh, Oath Keeper. So I'm just going to try it out for a little bit. I usually... The room at the center of the world has a secret. The forest has all kinds of paths. 
we have explored every inch of this place already, so... Well, maybe not, like, this place is huge. Lotus Forest. Yeah, I'm just gonna play around with Lady Luck, see how it works. Cause usually when I pick up the Keyblade, it's way after the end of the game. Well, not like the end of the game, but just closer to the end. Like, I always forget about it. Cause it's really out of the way. So, I'm going to unequip Sonic Blade. And, uh... Ragnarok. And I'm gonna try to use Strike Raid for this, cause, uh... Hunting down these very large rocks, uh, they're called Mega Shadows. And so we're gonna do the two screen solution. Oh, cool. Those uh, white mushrooms, they appear in a lot of different worlds, so I'm not gonna deal with them just yet. Right now I'm just getting. Exclusive Heartless, which is why I'm also saving the Dark Balls for later because they appear in just about every world, I think. Is that only one though? Like, that's a. I'm just gonna do this to be safe. And I feel like because I'm getting, like, you know, a rare encounter with those white mushrooms. I think that is inadvertently causing the Giga Shadow not to spawn. Basically, I'll know the Giga Shadows have spawned when there's a big group of regular shadows. Here we go. I get to go through a few, a few of these guys. So the real trick with uh, these shadows is that you can't let them eat you or else they'll run away. And we have to go through, I think, two or three rounds of shadows. Come on! get through that without losing MP, so... Do we get lucky? Get these boys back? Nope. Glide is so good. I actually had a dream last night where I was gliding. Like, do you ever do those things where it's kind of like, okay, I know this is a dream, 
I did that because like, I was like, like everywhere I was, because like I was different places in my dreams. I was like, trying to, like jump up and see if I can glide. Because I guess two hearts is on the brain, right? Because I record, I've been recording these kind of late, so. Alright, let's get these guys. 
Second chance? I mean, not second chance. Strike rate, what is it? Hmm. Hardly keep late on enemies, select follow up attack. Plus 2 MP, huh? <laughs> Alright. Well, I am going to equip Combo Master. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Combo Plus is what adds an extra combo on. Combo Master allows you to finish a combo even if you don't uh, connect. Of evolution and P gift. There we go. Alright, All right, so. The Fury Stones. I think we're two out of five. Yeah. Alright. I'm disappointed in that last. That last experience, but... Yeah, it like, really changes the way uh, combat goes now. Like, you aren't as exposed to uh, combat. Like, if you miss that first hit, you can still keep going. I don't know, like, it, it speeds things up a I don't know, like, I'm trying to be a little more efficient at the time, so this is nice. Okay, I can wrap up one of them. Four. Four. Three. And I'm on track for it, so. I'm just going to wait for I'm playing a potion song. Silver lining. the possibility of getting two, but if we could get the next one and get two, that'd be great, but at the very least, we've gotten one apiece. We've also been getting kind of lucky with the, uh, blah blah blah, spawning, so that's good too. Oh, man, I don't know. I want to talk about something else just besides this. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm, this is entertaining and fun for me, and actually really, really relaxing. That's how, like, the last couple episodes have been. But I don't know. Yeah, like, this is, like, the weird part where, like, you know, you could technically go and try to be, uh... Right, after, uh, right now, technically. It's interesting just like how like the way I play RPGs has kind of changed over the years. I remember it took me like an entire day. Like 
all of the bosses, uh, all of the combat encounters I did, took me back. I went back on the PlayStation 3 back before I, uh, it was before I even, uh, uh, yeah, this was before, like, I knew a lot about Kingdom Hearts. I, uh, Come on. What, let's see, like, for a while, like, I played the game not knowing how abilities worked. Like, the first time I ever played the game, like, I didn't know about scanner or any abilities or about hotkey magic or anything. Um, but, like, the time I actually did Kingdom I remember it was... Come on. I spent an entire day on, like, all the bosses. Um, like, Chernabog took too long in terms of, like, actual... Like, I only took one try, but I just took my time to fight because they were so nerve-wracking for me that in between every fight, because there are multiple fights, I was taking like, a break, and, like, I was... Like, when, like, my HP got really low, I would actually pause the game, and I would go upstairs and, like, sit down and, like, just talk to my family or, or like, eat food. Oh, no. said it. I just got one. At least, at least we got one. But yeah, like, and I didn't know about any abilities, really. Or, like, I was really bad about managing them. So, like, uh, I had such a difficult time with that fight just because of how long it took. Like, Chernabog, Giant Ursula, and then, like, the final phase of the final boss. Um, I guess it's a little spoilery, but not really. They have this problem that, like, I've kind of talked about before where they create this, like, they have, like, huge amounts of attacks. Because they're so big, they take up so much space, their attacks are a lot more, like, there's a lot more danger areas than just, like, a regular boss. And also, like, at the stage of the game that you fight those three bosses, like, you have access to a lot of ways to mitigate damage and to kill yourself. But, like, you get caught up in this vicious cycle that the game creates where you take just enough damage where you get nervous, so you heal, and then in the time it takes to heal and get back to the boss, you've taken damage, so you want to retreat and start to protect yourself. Come on. And so, you know, like, you just have to kind of, like, tough it out. Or at least that's the strategy. And I think part of it is just because, like, in the parts too, there are ways to fight bosses and take them down, like, entirely. Or, like, you know, one of the big things is like, mitigating the damage you take, whereas in this one, the combat system isn't as fluid and fleshed out, and you can, like, really carry at the right time and stuff, because, like, you know, human size, and by human size, I mean, like, enemies that are the same size as Sora. You know, like, Sora size, you know, like, you can parry them, and the parry system actually looks really nice. Uh, it's all about timing. And in 2, they really improve that. But just, like, with those large, like, there's large partitions, and there's, like, the super big monsters. I mean, like, the ones where you're basically flying and swimming around them. It's like this, you get caught up in that kind of cycle, and, like, that's what happened to me on all those fights, actually, um, on that playthrough, but especially with that final boss, where I was just basically just flying around, trying to avoid damage, flying in when, like, I knew, like, there was a safe time, getting, like, two hits in. And just not doing much else. And it, like, took forever. And then immediately after that, I started, uh, Kingdom Hearts. And that took forever because the load times for Kingdom Hearts 2 and the PlayStation 2 crazy. But that doesn't matter because this is our first one. Heal. Yeah, I'm gonna try on this one a bit. All right. 
it. So, awesome. Only took us 24 minutes to uh, do this one. So, I'm going to be able to break this one up into a nice, easy little uh, 24 minute video because I want to try to keep the videos shorter in the future and I'm still working on all the specifics of that and everything. So, um, people watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. My name is Doug. I'm happy you're here. We're going to pick this up in a couple seconds anyways. Um, so, and they'll be uploaded back to back, but bye and take care of yourself.